up guys, it's your boy God! And so today we're talking about heroic strike, no, strike specific gear, not heroic strike. You can actually get this gear at any point in time that you want to. Um, but it's, it, it's like, it's not fun to get. It's a, it's a, <laughs> you know what I'm it sucks. Um, if you're, if you're farming for these strike specific gears, or gear, gears, is, is, um, it's not fun. I'm not gonna lie. But, know that in the Destiny of the Titan King, um, you can get strike specific gear. Things such as Cloak of Tannix and so on and so forth. Some of these are PlayStation exclusive, some are, you know, not exclusive at all. You get them on Xbox One and PlayStation. So I just wanted to show you guys what there is available out there in the Destiny universe for strike exclusive gear in the Titan King. Um, once again, the first one that I'd like to mention is some of the Hunter gear here. The first one is the Cloak of Tannix. Now, I wanted this cloak so bad. I wanted this cloak so bad, y'all don't even you don't even know how bad I want wanted this cloak. This cloak is like the most badass cloak I've ever seen in my life, okay? I I farmed this cloak from like 2 in the morning to 6 in the morning because I wanted it that bad. Uh, yeah, that bad. And it, it still never popped. It didn't pop till the next day till I was like running that stuff like crazy, so that was kind of a pain in the ass, but I got it. Now the other hunter specific gear that you can get is the Helm of Crawlick, which is so far unknown for which strike you actually get that from. The Solar Flare Mantle, the Void Flare Mantle, and the Arc Flare Mantle. You can all get that from the Dust Palace Strike. Those guys right there are the exact same thing, just in different colors, which is super cool. They glow and all that stuff, and it's really, it's really baller. I, that's, the, that's the second most wanted one. Not as cool as Cloak of Tannix, in, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Now the gear you can get for Warlocks is the Thea Scion Vivrasai. You get those from the Echo Chamber, and they are gauntlets. The Devouring Maw, which is a helmet from the Fallen Saber Strike. That one's really, that one's really something. That's a cool ass helmet. The Omnigul Bond, which is of course a ghoul that represents Omnigul or something. You know? Yeah. And of course you get it from Omnigul, Will of Crota Strike. Oh yeah. And as for Titans, you can get Malu, Ma, 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 from the Shield Brothers Strike. The Dark Blade Helm from the Sunless Cell Strike. The Mark of the Undying Mind from the Undying Mind Strike, and that's about it for all the armor pieces you can get for Titan. So it looks like every class except for Hunter, well technically yeah, Hunter, gets three things from three different strikes. Um, the Hunter technically gets gets five it looks like, but that's only because there is three mantles available, which is just the flare mantles essentially, so that's kind of cool. So once again guys, to get this gear all you have to do is run that specific strike over and over again. I believe if you use three of coins it'll actually enhance the chances of you guys getting it, because it does up uh, drop rates and all that stuff, including for legendaries you'll always notice that some of your will drop with legendaries. I don't know if that's myth. Don't believe me on that one, but I do think I do think it's like somewhat kind of true. Somewhat kind of. Only somewhat kind of though. Only somewhat kind of. And apparently people are saying you can actually run the heroic or nightfall strike to get your better chances of running uh, of, of getting this gear. So if you want specific strike gear, you can get you can try your chances at the playlist, but I I didn't like that. I didn't like the idea of like okay, if I didn't get the shadow thief, I'm just gonna drop out of the playlist. You look like a big old you look like a big old asshole if you do that. I'm not gonna lie, and I felt like a dick. So I just went ahead and ran shadow thief endlessly. But once again, it took me like way too long. Is it really worth it? You wouldn't download a dolphin. You wouldn't download a, a car. Yeah, I leave that one up to you. But I I farm shadow thief to get my cloak of tannix because it looks so baller. So playlists. Higher drop rate of dropping the, these exclusive strike gears and such, um, but otherwise, just run the regular if you don't want to be a dick. Because I, I mean, I only wanted to run Shadow V for Cloak of Tannix until I got Cloak of Tannix because I wanted that Cloak of Tannix. Because Tannix's cloak is pretty cool for Cloak of Tannix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got it. I got it from farming just just the level 20 Shadow Thief. So just to clarify, a lot of people are confused by that. I farmed just the level 20. And that's all you have to farm if you want to get it. Just run it over and over again and grind it out, of course. Um, you don't have to get it in playlists. You don't have to get it in Strike Playlists, but you can get it in Strike Playlists. But you don't have to. You can get it from level 20 Strike. Just the regular old, the red, the, the, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I just wanted to drop that out there for you guys, but yeah. So that's all I got. <coughs> oh my god. That's all I got to talk for today, guys. As I always say, drop a like for your boy, God. We'll be back here with more Destiny content shortly. So take it easy. Have a general good, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out! Do this the legit way. This guy, this guy doesn't even know. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, that works! <laughs> oh my god. And that actually goes towards it? Let me just see this.